Hey guys, so <clears throat> a few weeks ago I fell off into the abyss with my allergies and so I didn't cut videos for a long time but thankfully I am feeling much better now and I wanted to show you this uh, piece of history here. What you are looking at is a antique Victorian era humidor. Um, as I understand it, uh, the men back in that day had their parlor, the women had their parlor, and this is a piece of furniture that you might find, which served as a humidor for the guys that they would store their, um, their tobacco and their cigars and all that stuff in back in the day. And um, pick this guy up for a song. You would usually see these things well north of $200, and I got mine for less than $50. And uh, so let me give you a little tour. Um, here is just uh, some extra uh, pipes that I have, some estates that I've restored and things like that. This is actually, the, the bowl is actually a, um, an ashtray that's in the shape of a uh, smoking pipe. <laughs> My sister got me that. Down here, at the same antique store, they had several velvet tins, and this guy right here is from 1910. It actually has the stamp on it from 1910. And down here is the humidor part, and you'll see as I open the latch that it is uh, copper lined. And so that's kind of what you want to look for when you look for one of these old humidors. And you can see I've got some of my tobacco that's sitting in there. It's just kind of mostly for display. But uh, yeah, so there's my little Victorian era humidor that uh, I just have a little set up here. Kind of like a, I don't know, something that I would think a parlor might look like. But I hope you enjoyed that. I've been wanting to show you this thing for a while. And, you know, those of you who have man caves or your little smoking lounge or whatever, uh, they, make, they made all different types of shapes and sizes of these humidors. And uh, I don't know, man, they're really cool. They might make a really good addition to your smoking lounge or your parlor. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. Bye-bye.